Welcome to Zen series, The History of Medicine. We're going to be looking at ancient medical texts from China, India, and Africa. This video series is sponsored by Zen's Medicine, an online platform that connects holistic medical physicians with their patients. If you guys like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. So, ancient medical texts. What is the oldest one? Arguably, it depends where you're from, what your society culture believes, because ancient medical texts has a habit of not lasting the test of time. But the Kahun Egyptian medical text, it was written on papyrus. There's mention of it in a number of other manuscripts. And this text is around today. It dates back to about 1700 BC era to 1850 BC era. That's what the archeologists put the carbon dating date at. Uh, that's about 400 years before the first five books of the Bible were written. Just kind of give you a context. The first book of the Bible, Genesis, actually mentions how Egypt became a world power. This was about 400 years. This Kahun Papyrus medical text was written about 400 years before that first book. So hope you find it exciting. I know I personally enjoy studying ancient Near East texts because it's just fascinating to see how advanced these societies were and the information they put out regarding medical technology and how to treat the body, mind, and soul. The ancient Egyptians knew that the body had multiple levels. Like the irrigation system, the Nile, it provided water for the whole nation. Just like the pulse provides an idea of how the body is doing as a whole. The Egyptians were the first ones to mention a heart in their texts. Interesting fact, these Egyptian medical physicians prescribed dates, oils, and beer to get pregnant. Who would have thought you could use beer to get pregnant? The Egyptians figured it out. The ancient Egyptians, like many societies in the ancient Near East, believed in a pantheon of gods. That means they had the snake god, they had the sun god, and the worship and fear of those gods, they were pursuing health, wealth, and peace. This text talks about the health, specifically for the women of that society. It talks about the heart, the womb, miscarriages, treatments for battle wounds. This ancient medical text, although it may be an archaic way of looking at healthcare, it was actually very efficient and effective. The Egyptians at the time they wrote this information was a world superpower. Egyptians were known for writing hieroglyphics, carving the text in their buildings. Why is that important? Because it offers an opportunity for the future generations to look back at the lessons learned from history. Now, why is that applicable today? Why are we doing a video on the history of medicine? Because if we don't learn the lessons from the past, we are destined to make the mistakes that we did not learn from. There's a lot more that could be said about the ancient Egyptian healthcare system. It's interesting to note that these kings were not only concerned about their own health, but in transferring the information to future generations. If you were a rich person, you had access to healthcare, you had private physicians to take care of you. If you were poor, then you were put to the front of the gate and you were asking for money and really just telling people, hey, hey, don't drink the water from that. That got me sick. <laughs> so we hope you find this video helpful, entertaining. And again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, if you want more information, go to the website, www.zensmed.com.